Welcome to my playthrough for Final Fantasy VI. This is my number two favorite of the original 2D old school Final Fantasies. My favorite is Final Fantasy IV, always will be. VI is a really, really close favorite though. It has one of the best plots, some of the best characters, um, almost universally people love the main villain. Um, he's a lot of people's top Final Fantasy villain, in, in fact, uh, certainly of the old ones. It is a lot of fun. It is... Originally, in the United States at least, we had Final Fantasy 1, then we got Final Fantasy 4, which, which we knew as Final Fantasy 2, and then this was Final Fantasy 3, and then we jumped straight up to 7, at which point all of us who weren't really in the know suddenly went, hey, what happened to 4, 5, and 6? Oh! Well, that was weird. So, and eventually we got all of these. But this was the best Final Fantasy in the day, and then we jumped straight to 3D graphics of 7, and which blew our minds. So, but it is a lot of fun, and I will be playing through and voice acting most or all of it as we go, and hopefully will be relatively consistent in said voices, at least for the main characters. <laughs> Sometimes I, I forget who's who, but at least what they're supposed to sound like. Um, yeah, here we go. With a slow build, hopefully it's loud enough. nice silhouette when you really take a look at it, the details on it. Let's go. Uh, English, font size. I don't know what the difference is. Oh, it's just cleaned up a little bit. Uh, I'll go with the classic font for now. BGM, okay, not worried about it. Brightness, fine for default for now, we'll see what happens. Um, uh, bump sound effects, well, let's see what happens in this first video or two, and then I'll adjust from there once I get into the recording and see what happens. Control settings, confirm, okay, that's my confirm. Back cancel, menu, and close map, okay. Here we go. Moogle. The ancient war of the Magi. When its flames at last receded, only the charred husk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. In the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines took the place of magic, and life slowly returned to the barren land. Yet there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past and use its dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. Who could that be? Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? Now, in the original version, I don't believe there was enough resolution, or there may not have been anything back there, to see the town behind the scenes there. I think that was just like an open air. Maybe you could see the mountains, but like I said, it's been a while since I played this. Agitech. And we are pixeled. There's the city. It's hard to believe an Esper's been found frozen there a thousand years after the War of the Magi. Ugh, probably just another wild goose chase. I don't know. They wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident the intel was good.
Ah, uh, yes, our witch. I hear she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in three minutes. Kind of makes your skin crawl, doesn't it? Relax, with that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. The girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. Well, that's good. Uh, inconvenient. We'll approach from the east. Move out. So, here we have Biggs and Wedge. I, this may be the earliest use of Biggs and Wedge in Final Fantasy. I don't remember if there are other versions uh, that might have showed up. And certainly in some of the, the ones I didn't have as a kid, they might be there. Um, but originally in the Final Fantasy 3 that we played, they were Vix and Wedge, I think. For some reason, they could, didn't use the real names yet. Umatsu. I apologize for anybody's names, like real world names that I mispronounce. I do my best, but... And I believe we can skip this scene. Yes. The girl takes point. Don't waste time on Riff Raff. Remember what we're here for. Let's move. Alright, hopefully all the dialogue isn't auto like that. Okay, moving. Okay, switching party members, presumably in battle. Okay, page up and down, don't care. Mini map, on and off. Okay. I don't want. Okay, well, we're not, I don't think I'm going to. I'm not intentionally going to turn encounters off. Okay. But circle is run. Okay, so that should be. Run, run, run. Oh, no, I'm not trying to leave. Esper's got to be here. Let's keep looking. Okay, I wasn't really trying to leave. Oh, that mini map is nice. The Empire's got no business here! Woof, woof. Alright, so Magitek is very powerful stuff. You pretty much just use whatever you feel like using, and it'll kill anything in this town in one shot for the most part. That's right, you run away, little Narshi soldier. Again, I've heard it pronounced Narsh. In my head, it's still Narshi, because I didn't know how to pronounce things as a kid. Imperial Magitek armor, not even Narshi is safe anymore. Now, question mark up there has a lot more Magitek available to her. That is... Nice and powerful. Look at that. Level up for Biggs and Wedge. Check out the menu. Can't unequip them. Dang. I don't know that I've ever actually tried. Okay. Status, formation, configuration, quick save. Okay. Stop them! Funarshi! Okay. And of course, if you take any real damage in here, you have a free healing spell available to you. And she has actual magic available to her as well. Healing force. Might as well. But this is active time battle with the mar with the uh, bars slowly filling at the bottom, as you can see. Last one would be you. And it's pretty straightforward combat at this point. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you just basically, if you find your health a little bit low, top yourself off with the free healing force, otherwise... Not really anything in this town that here that can pose a threat to you unless you just stand there and let them attack you. There shouldn't be anything you can actually get to in this place. Armor won't fit anywhere. Jungle, 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 magic deck armor. Uh oh, pincher attack! We've got a trap now! 
Oh no! I do like the combat music in this game. That will take care of them. And auto target. Should your target die, auto retargeting, which is a standard in Final Fantasies once we got through the horror that was Final Fantasy 1 for the Nintendo. I'm still scarred by that. Which, if you watch my Final Fantasy 1 playthrough, I mention once or twice. Defend the mines! Megalodoth. The bio is just... Uh, she'll kill everything, but... Right, level up. Now I could stop and heal with her actual heal spell, but again, free healing. According to our source, the miners unearthed the frozen Esper in a new shaft they were digging. This must be it. Out of all the other holes in this mountainside? Okay, witch. There's mines. A strange light fills the air. Uh, I already know about save points. Anyway, this is where you save the game. Also, you can use tents. Okay, can't fit through that hole. Where rat? Right there, rat. I'll handle this. Stand back! Good job, Biggs. Uh-oh. We're not handing over the Esper. Ymir, get them! Our first boss fight. Hold it. This thing's a, a, They must have trained it to guard the mines! What are you talking about? Well, you know, you know what this is? Ever heard of a lightning whelk? It's a monster that absorbs lightning. And stores the energy in its shell. Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Got it. So, I don't believe... So you can re change your targeting. I don't believe it's weak to any particular element. But we'll test 159. And we do not want to use an AoE. I think her best bet is actually the missile at this point. But right about the time you get three attacks off. Ooh, there we go, nice. Not too long after that. Right about now. He goes inside his shell. And if you had already queued up attacks like I did, this is what happens. But if you're not silly enough to keep doing it, one quick round of healing and you're fine. Yeah, okay, so... Triangle is my switch to another active person. Button. Okay, fires 170. It really wasn't main tenth of the damage difference on the on theirs. Yeah, same. And done. First boss. Not a thing.
we go. Sneak through here, nothing really in back here, and... What is that? So is this the Frozen Esper? Frozen Esper. This thing's given me the creeps. Something's not right. The frozen creature begins emitting an eerie light. What? What's that light coming from? Ah! What? What was that? Wedge? Wedge, where are you? Hey, what, what's going on? Ah! And they were never heard from again. Actually, apparently they were teleported into Spira and took up jobs in the uh, Sphere arena. Alright, now the hard part. Where? Where am I? Oh my, and I only just removed the crown. My head hurts. Ooh. Easy there. This is a slave crown. The others were using it to control you. It was robbing you of your thoughts, making it so you'd do whatever they told you. I can't remember a thing. Don't worry. It'll all come back to you. In time, that is. A mysterious young woman, born with the gift of magic, and enslaved by the Gestalian Empire. Okay. Now... Some people never change the names of these characters. Some people insist on it. Some people have funny ones. Some people have personal ones. I have ones that I've been using for, good God, a couple of decades now. And most of which I will be using on this playthrough because that's who they are in my head. So, that's what you get. Uh, let's see. Backspace. This is Tethys. My name is Tethys. Impressive. I've never heard of anyone recovering so fast. You must be made of stuff tougher stuff than most. Barky bark, barky bark. Well, the little puppers are kind of cute. You gotta admit. Open up! We're here for the Magitek Armor Pilot! Open this door right now! Hand over that girl! She's an agent of the Empire! Empire? Magitek Armor? There's no time to explain. You need to get out of here. These fools aren't gonna listen to reason. This way, quickly! Oh, got our first trophy. Make your way out of town through the mines. I'll try to buy you some time. Up there! Run, Tethys. Now, there's a lot about this game that I have seen and experienced myself, and there's a lot that I have seen other people play over the years. I don't remember all of it. So there's weird things like if you don't pick up chests in here now and you come back later, some or all of them are better things. I honestly don't remember. So um, I think I'm going to skip them just to see what I get later. I don't remember what the difference good or bad is. I don't think I really need any of the things early on. I'm usually a better player than that, but we'll see. Could be the streamer's curse. Alright, so it's... 
Spritzer. Okay. I also, as you will find, am habitually not a magic user. When necessary, no problems using it. But when push comes to shove, I will probably choose physical attacks over magic during combat and then use magic to heal myself after the fact. Like I said, I was scarred by Final Fantasy 1. Alright, I'm in good shape still. Okay. So I think I'm skipping chests. Right? Yeah, skip that one, skip that one. I will need those potions. Okay, that's an opening right here, but can't get through there yet. That's We'll come back through that later. Right about here is where I should need to take off her stuff, because I think she's got better stuff than what we're about to see. There she is! Oh no! My sweet little magic user. <laughs> With a slave crown, you'll be all mine. So there's our first monochromatic look at Kafka. <laughs> good, good. Burn them all to a crisp. We saw that in the intro. Soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us! We have been chosen! The time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world! Nothing shall stand in our way! Hooray! Long live Emperor Gestal! No, I don't seem to be cheering. I'm really not into this, am I? Okay, now I need a voice for, for this guy. Took you long enough? Busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume? What? A treasure hunter and trail-worn traveler searching the world for over for relics of the past. I don't really have a better name for him. I've used one in the past that I, like I said, I used for a couple of decades. And... It was locked in because it was in my brain, but I was never really happy with it, so... I'm just going to go with Locke, because that's a cool name. I, can't, I don't know that I can really improve on that one. I prefer the term treasure hunting. Ha! <laughs> Semantic nonsense! There's a huge difference. Anyways, there's something you need me to do. There is indeed. I met the girl. Girl? You don't mean... The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. The city has the strength to stand up to the Empire, but it won't use it. People are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. I tried to explain the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. All right, so you want me to get her out of Nashi? That would be the idea. Make your way to Figaro for the time being. 
I don't know if Locke's voice is going to stay the same. Because it's... It's approximating my puss in boots, but it's not quite there. And he's... which is Antonio Banderas. Locke is not Hispanic. Of any sort. There she is! Look at a whole little troop of fuzzy things. Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Kaboom! Moogles, are you saying you want to help? Kaboom! Use us to protect Tethys from the cards! Would you like an explanation? No. Okay, so, now... Yeah, see? Slightly better. Definitely better. I have no relics. Okay, so... Slight upgrade on his weaponry, which he's gonna need. So that's nice. Um... I think that's the only thing I can really change at this point. Oh, okay, I do have access. I can see the Moogles. We have Moglin, Mogret, and Moggy. Okay, uh, give me just a second. I need to take a quick break, and I will be right back, but you won't notice a thing. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's see, other things to do. L2, switch parties. Mog, okay. I'm gonna try, if I remember right, Yes, I can unequip Mog stuff and use that. Can, the only reason you can unequip his stuff is because Mog is, spoilers, a playable char <clears throat> character later on. And so you can unequip his stuff. I'm going to try to do this with Locke's team and we'll see what happens. No, not. Wrong button. Okay. Yeah, and then these guys are just the same, okay? Not. I hit the wrong button again. Okay, and now I think. Uh, yeah, this would be better. Much better. Look at that. And he can't use the spear. So. Alright, uh, let's see. Good. Alright, let's see what happens here. And the reason I want to do this with Locke's team. Oh, wait. How do I change your formation? Because, if you saw on our way through, Spear can be used in the back row. Morningstar, back row. Mithra Claws, not so much. Hang on. So, you need to come up. Okay, so it's just those two. Okay, so if you take the right, the correct path, you can through some of this stuff relatively easily and I can use potions. Ow. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. Sort of clean, clean them out with Mog's team first. Alright, let's try that. I think that's what I usually do, actually. I'm trying to I'm trying to outsmart myself here. You. Oh, wait. Not. I, I'm gonna keep doing that. Okay, Mog. Go ahead and equip those at least. I'll unequip this stuff later. Okay, what are the other guys equipped with? Flail, Sword, and Moonring Blade. Okay. So. Mog can go back. You can go back, sword, and moon ring blade. Alright. Should now be able to take Mog's team through. The snowstorm's still gonna cause quite a bit of damage, so the Megalodoth is the bigger threat.
Mog during Requiem. Alright, Mog. You can clear this path out for us at least. Let's see what we can do here. Ow. The Mog's dance. Holy cow, look at that. That was incredible. A little bit of an ace in the hole if you can't get through, if your lock team or someone fails on the boss at the bottom of this whole thing, Mog can come in and use that dance and can usually take him out in like one or two hits if you if need be. Okay, let's see. Items. We've got a couple of potions here. Let's keep Malulu alive. Alright, see if I can... Frickin' snowstorm! Nice attack when it works, which is very rarely after later on. Okay, that should be everybody. Alright, let's see if I can take out anybody else while we're at it. There's not really a benefit of doing this. But it also doesn't matter if you if the moogles die. Nice shot, Morgan. But unfortunately, when you dance with Mog, you lose all control over him. He will continue dancing for the rest of the battle and do random dance effects, which is a major reason why I don't use him normally in a party, because I am loath to lose control over my party characters. At this point, it's kind of OP, so it's worth the trouble. Because even if we lose, it won't matter. We have two whole teams waiting to back us up. Poisonous frog, that one's new. You know, the only reason I don't want Mog to die is so that I can pull that stuff back off of him easily. I didn't seem to be doing much there, Mog. That really wasn't much damage there, buddy. Alright, so that should be everything. There are later battles like this where more things come up, so I just kind of go down and check just in case. Okay, let's pop that off of you. You hold the line just in case. And you, since... We're going into this a little bit low from that one hit we took, but could be worse. Now, the reason to use lock is because you can steal from the boss. Lock's stealing rate is not the best in the world, but... Okay, we're going to attack one of those and then defend for the moment while lock tries to steal. It's not quite Zidane bad on stealing, but it ain't pretty. Oh, good, it stayed on him. Okay, cool. That's real nice, that's what we wanted. I think we're just gonna now we can, should be able to keep attacking him. Because I think if we kill both Lobos, then the guard runs away or something, and so we don't get a chance to actually kill him, I think is the problem. Okay, I gotta remember it stays target, stays on target. Now see, since they're in the back row, they're taking less damage, but they're not dealing less damage, because they have ranged weapons, essentially. Or at least weapons that function from ignore rows, basically. And we got a high potion. Excuse me. 
Thanks, Moogles. We are in your debt. Pick her up and run, lock. Switch out of cool. Yeah, you're back with us now. You saved me. Save our thanks for the Moogles. Uh, I don't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. You lost your memory. said it would come back eventually so you got amnesia don't worry I won't leave her side until your memory returns hmm I'm not gonna up and abandon someone just because they lost a memory I'll keep you safe I promise I don't know might slide in a little bit more Puss in Boots there he's got that the thief's rogue scoundrel thing going obviously that might stick Alright, now at this point you would leave, because if you try and go into town, you're stopped. But you can also pop up here to the School for the Beginning Adventurer, which there's a couple of things in here you can pick up. Not great, but more than you have now, such as a healing pot. Save point, let's see, I forget all of what's in some of these. Ether, free ethers are good. Be careful. Sometimes monsters lurk inside of treasure chests. Like that one? Oh, I should probably re equip her, huh? Oops. Actually, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, yeah, we stole the mithril knife, which is why we have two now. Potions may taste funny, but they also heal injury. If you're hurt, drink one to restore some HP. Well, thanks, dude. And whatever he said after that that I don't care about. Have you heard about relics? Relics can get you a variety of abilities. For example, sprint shoes double your walking speed. A gauntlet lets you hold a weapon with both hands to increase damage. The knight's code makes you shield others in combat. Dragoon boots allow you to perform jump attacks. A person can equip up to two relics at the same time. So, very basic stuff, most of which I'll probably end up explaining at some point in the, in the game anyway. So, we're just going to skip most of that. If you set the battle mode to wait in the config menu, you can take all the time you want to select spells or items in battle without having to worry about being attacked, which... Battle mode wait. Worth it to do that. Fast battle speed and messages, thank you. Cursor memory... It says off, but it was remembering what I did. Hmm... Run. Set equipment to wear after switching relics associated with equipment. Set equipment to optimal. And leave it optimal because that's what I'm used to. Okay, everything's the same that we saw before. Okay. Alright, what else we got in here? We have a pot care. Damage is more severe when enemies have you surrounded, especially if you've got your back to the attacker. Yeah, no kidding. Sleeping bag, excellent. Okay. Somebody up there explained status effects, I think. Or someone in this room, I don't know. Let's see. Nothing in that pot. Lame. Nothing on the Potion. Alright. So, yeah, like I said, not a whole lot in this place, but more than you had before. And we head out. World map. Now, so you just heard a pop run down here. 
Oh no, combat. Back attack. Leafer, or Leaf Bunny, and Dark Wind. I think they were Leafers originally. Although now I can see the bunny. Honestly, could not. This is a much better image than I'm used to seeing for these bad guys. I always thought it was like some sort of gray thing, like curled up with his arms around his knees sort of pose, but the green was the legs. Not until seeing this picture right now did I recognize that's a bunny sitting on like a, a head of cabbage or something. Go figure. So we're going to pop down here, and I'm gonna actually going to stop here for this video. Got through the intro, and it's getting pretty late for me, so this is really just sort of an introduction. I'll check sound levels and that sort of thing, and make adjustments as necessary. Thank you for joining me on the first video of this series. Uh, hopefully you will come back for the whole thing. If you love this game, and you like watching someone else play it and see how they do, and look for the parts, you're like, Aha, that person did something stupid. I know how to do that much better. You'll probably find a couple of those when I play. Uh, and there may be a couple of, huh, never thought of that one. Maybe this guy knows what he's doing. We'll see. But uh, anyway, like I said, I'll be voice acting all the characters as we go along, which I find amusing to do. I voice act all, I've voice acted all the books that I read to my kids their entire childhoods. And so I like doing it. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Please leave a like, subscribe if you are not already a subscriber, and leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the game. Let me know your memories playing this if you are an experienced Final Fantasy VI player. And hope you enjoy it. Hope everybody's having a great day. Bye.